let's just get to some of this stuff. Phil has, I have no particular order today. I'm in a brain fog today, so I have no idea what I've got. If I've got the thing or, you know, just another thing, but I've got something. We'll see how we do. Phil has a tale of warning, a PSA, if you will, to share. He says, gentlemen, I got caught. So did my brother. And I'm sure there are others without Yet knowing what Phil is about to share, folks, I can tell you I was one of these people one day, and I can't believe we didn't share this on the show. Uh, he says, it turns out that when you migrate to a new iPhone using the direct transfer or backup and restore procedures, Google Authenticator does not move its entries with it to the new phone. A separate export and import is required. That takes the presence of mind to be thinking about Google Authenticator when doing your migration. For most of us, we think about the Authenticator app the next time we need it, which is almost always after you've wiped and sold your old phone. In my brother's case, he was using it as two-factor authentication for crash plan, and when there was no fallback for authenticating, he had to contact support and have them reset his account. You could argue that all of this improves security, but the inconvenience slash security ratio is fairly high. And that leads to a bigger question. Are authenticator apps interchangeable? And can we do something to solve this? And the answer is yes. Uh, I, As I said, I got caught by this too, John. I uh, Years ago, you know, I was using Google Authenticator because that's what it said to use or whatever I was using said to use, probably Google. And, uh, and then it was like, wait, all my entries are gone. It was, you know, weeks later that I, that I noticed this. And that's when I moved all of my two-factor authentication into one password. Now, it starts becoming less two-factor and two-entry when the password and the, uh, the you know, the, the, the one-time code, if you will, are not only stored on the same device, but stored in the same piece of software. However... That comes, you know, I always say we choose our point on the continuum between ultimate security and ultimate convenience, right? And in this case, trending a little bit more towards convenience is what works certainly for me and probably for a lot of us. So, yeah, I moved uh, I moved everything into one password so that it has the benefit of, yes, carrying to your new devices with you, but also being available on all your devices. So I don't need to go to Google Authenticator when I'm logging in on my Mac. It just has it right there. Again, not two-factor anymore, but a little bit better. 